In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to start a new project in Plus One Guide. We assume that you already have a properly installed Plus One Guide environment. If not, please see the tutorial on installing Guide. Setting up a project is the first step towards creating a Plus One application. There are three steps required in setting up a new project. First, you need to create the new project in Guide. Second, you need to specify which hardware platform you'll be working on. And finally, you need to apply an application template. Creating a project just entails giving it a name and a folder where the project contents will be stored. Projects cannot share folders. Each project will have to have a unique folder, otherwise you will see errors when you try to compile. The project name cannot contain any spaces, and it's a good practice to give the folder and the project the same name to minimize confusion. The next step is to tell Guide what hardware you'll be programming on. You do this by going to the Hardware tab and right-clicking on the yellow icon for the HWD version you're interested in, and then selecting Use this hardware in project. Here, for example, we'll be creating an application for the DP720, so we'll select that HWD from the Hardware tab. This will populate the project with the operating system for your hardware. This is the sys file that you now see in the project contents. Remember that the controller program, or LHX file, that you eventually download the controller will contain both the application code that you write, plus the operating system in the sys file. Just below the sys file, you'll find the API document, which tells you which signals your application can read from and write to the operating system. If you don't see the hardware you're interested in listed in the Hardware tab, you'll first have to install it in your guide environment. Download the corresponding HWD or PAC file from our website. A PAC file is just a collection of HWDs for the same hardware family. Then select Install Hardware from the Setup menu and select the file. Hardware only needs to be installed once in your guide environment, after which it will be available for all future projects. The last step is to apply the hardware template to your program. This is essentially a blank program where the inputs and outputs have been assigned defaults allowing the program to compile, but the central application contains no code. This is where you'll start building your program. Remember that every time you apply the template, you are starting over with a blank application so be sure to save any guide code that you want to preserve. You should now be able to compile your empty template project. Select Compile All from the Compile menu, or hit F5. If all went well, you should have a downloadable LHX file in your output folder. Compiling an empty template is a good test to see if your guide installation is correct. If you get an error message during compile with an empty template, the two most common causes are that either guide is not running with administrator privileges, or another Windows program is interfering with guide files during the compile process. Guide needs to be installed and run with full administrator privileges to work correctly. This is listed as a system requirement for Guide. If you have a new or recently upgraded installation of Guide, which is unable to compile an empty template, verify that the installation was done as an administrator. If you're not sure, uninstall and reinstall as an administrator. 
Another potential error is another process interfering with guide files during the compilation process. Guide creates and deletes a number of temporary files during the compile process. If another process is momentarily locking those files, for instance Dropbox or OneDrive during cloud synchronization or an antivirus program, that can cause the compile process to fail. The same can happen on network drives. In general, it's best to put your project folder in an ordinary folder on your local drive, for instance in the My Documents folder. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One Community Help is available on the Plus One User Forum at plusoneforum.danfoss.com or contact the Plus One Help Desk at Plus One Help Desk, P L U S plus sign, the digit one, Help Desk, at danfoss.com. Thank you for your attention.